So this is going to be real quick, y'all. I just, I just thought this was funny, man. So LeVar Burton, reading Rainbow, LeVar Burton. A lot of y'all, you're young and you grew up on LeVar Burton. But y'all remember, what, 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 reading Rainbow? Y'all mm-hmm. remember that right there. Now he's about to host Jeopardy. Jeopardy, where some of the smartest people have to be on the show. Or you have to be extremely smart to even be considered to be a contestant on that show. So he's on a very, very highly intelligent program right here. As game shows go. As game shows go. Yeah, there's a lot of game shows out there. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of reality shows. It's like uh, Jeopardy and Sexy Beast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Jeopardy of furry shows. But I remember my man, who was about to be on one of the smartest shows ever, was in a movie called Dummy. And that movie, it, man, this came on. I just looked it up because I saw him. And see, y'all, there was a time when all of LeVar Burton, like when he, because y'all know him as this sweet guy, man. Y'all know him as this really nice, you know, it's, when we were growing up, it was like, oh, it's like my big brother. Now he's like some people's uncle. Now he's some people's daddy. Shit, some kids even saying, I was like my sweet old granddad over here. He read me books. But I remember when LeVar Burton, he wasn't, he didn't appear in nothing unless he was, unless he was uh, bug-eyed and sweaty. Well, this movie came out right on the heels of Roots. Yeah, it did. And he made such an impact in Roots that... Let me see. He made such an impact in Roots that everything they put him in, they cast him, he had to like a slave. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he's Kunta... You remember, you remember Roots? <laughs> Kunta Kente? They made him go watch that shit in school. They should. Yeah. Go home and had nightmares. I hate that <laughs> shit. Every Friday. February, you can't get it in my mama room. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that was some Jordan Peele before Jordan Peele. Yeah, right. Black History Month was straight horror movies going yeah. through. Like, what the <laughs> f- y'all showing me this shit for, man? Everything that LeVar Burton went after Roots for a while, everything, he had to be big-eyed, black, and sweaty. And he was in this movie called Dummy. And in the movie, he played a, a, a deaf mute. Mm-hmm. Who gets locked up. Who, yeah, he commit. they say he committed a, a crime. Like, he was... He killed a hooker because he was like he couldn't talk and he couldn't understand, but he knew how to buy a hooker. <laughs> During lunchtime, are, are you shocked? <laughs> During lunchtime, it's like the whole truck come by. Yeah, and he would and like she would just sell ass to the to the to the construction crew and he'd be the first one in line. He spent all his money on chicks and I remember this part because he get it. And they had a soundtrack for it. They had a song called "Feeling Good, Feeling Good, Feeling Good." Feeling good, feeling good. <laughs> 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 shit, I might not hear, be able to hear shit, but my dick works. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I ain't never seen that shit. <laughs> dummy, man, it was on CBS. Mm-hmm. And when they said dummy, like they went too far with it, man. Like they went out that way to just make him just like an animal. Yeah, it was, it's weird because it, at the time when it came out, I remember it being kind of like a, a prestige movie. But <laughs> watching clips of it yeah. now, it's like, wow, this is just. Silly. And, man, this shit is silly and almost offensive. They like they yeah. made him That's too dumb. That's what it seemed offensive yeah. anything. Yeah. Like you couldn't do that today, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They, no, it's a, it's the prequel to radio. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had your boy, Big Pauly, uh, uh Paul Savino. Oh yeah. He played a, mm. a deaf lawyer. And he went in talking to a talking to LeVar Burton as dummy. And he went in talking to him, knowing he can't hear, and no matter how much you it's like he don't know sign language. He don't know and the whole time. He might as well went to the zoo because Levar Burton just looking at his ass the whole time. And then that was his role the whole movie, just not understanding. He might as well been a caveman in this yeah. shit. You know why you're here? Why? Why you're here? <laughs> <laughs> why you gotta do it, mama? Come on, man. You know they wrong. Man. He looking like an animal at the zoo right now. <laughs> <laughs> like he's waiting to be fed peanuts and shit. <laughs> Do you know about the murder? <laughs> no. This is wrong, man. This is wrong. I know. I don't hey, care. You know about the murder? This is wrong, man. man. <laughs> it's completely wrong. But I'm not wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> you can't hear anything, can you? How old were you when you lost your hearing? Or were you born deaf? I just said I can't hear anything. <laughs> they. You know what? I believe that they just shot one long shot of LeVar Burton just sitting there like this. And they just edited that shit yeah. in. Easy roll for him. I mean, I'll tell you, what, this is probably the easiest paycheck he got. Because <laughs> all he had to do was just sit there. Just do, do, not do a damn thing. 
Yeah, I went through the script and I have no dialogue. I don't understand. <laughs> this is like trying to train a dog to do something. <laughs> Donald Lang, D O N A L D. L. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he starts trying to eat his hand. <laughs> Man, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I had to look that up to see. Man, it is like I remembered. Because some of this stuff I thought about when I was a kid, and I was like, this surely not like. I mean, yeah, you know, my I, I don't remember this right, and I'd be damn, man. It was just like I remember. Stupid. And they called the movie Dummy. Right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. In the title. It's a title from Sanford and Son. They put this shit in the title, like, big letter. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, right. <laughs> and they even said in the, in the promos, LaVar Burton is Dummy. <laughs> like, God damn, boy. I, when I first saw it, I thought it was a movie about a ventriloquist actor. Yeah, right. I didn't know it was about Kunta Kente. <laughs> getting arrested. Getting arrested. <laughs> is, it, is it based on a true story? I, uh, fuck, knowing this way, knowing how they were back in the day, yeah. Okay. Probably so. I'm just curious. Or and, inspired by it. Right, 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 right. And then they went through all this shit to get him. To get him. Well, it was uh, all about proving he was innocent. Yeah, to prove, to prove he was innocent. And then cut to the end of the movie where he's looking at an alley like this and like, well, shit, maybe he is a murderer. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Stupid shit.